What up, Melvin7 here, bringing you my 100th SBC video. Um, yeah, this is my longest standing series on YouTube by far, and uh, yeah, I've thoroughly enjoyed SBCs during FIFA 17, and that's pretty much what my channel is at the minute, an SBC channel. Anyway, first one we've got, Napoli versus Real Madrid. Well, it's a marquee matchup I haven't even mentioned, but uh, the title kind of tells you that anyway, but... You need three leagues, you need an 80 overall team rating, two Napoli players, two Real Madrid players, so they've stepped it up a little bit. Uh, you do get a 25k pack, but you do want to spend as little as possible, and uh, some of these players will probably have risen just because of the constraints. But uh, the Real Madrid players I've got is uh, this upgraded Fernandez, pretty sure he's upgraded anyway, and uh, Cohen Trau. And then the Napoli players we've got is uh, Haji and um, Jorginho. And then what I've tried to do is mix it up because obviously you need three leagues. So um, we've got Diara here. Actually, that would get more chem because, yeah, he'd get 10. I mean, I know they get 100 anyway, but, yeah, if I simply do that, then he gets the chem because he gets a triple link with uh, this guy, Plea. Um, and then we've got Kishner there just because he's a league one left wing, really. And a couple of high-rated players to bring the rating up to 80. Nothing too strenuous there, but it might cost you a few thousand coins for the more expensive players. I'm not entirely sure. Prices fluctuate like mad during SBCs. Next one we've got, looking at it, you'd think it uh, contained a Premier League club, but it does not. Barcelona versus PSG, and they must have lost the licenses because now PSG is called Paris on FIFA. So anyway, we've got uh, Maxwell there, who doesn't get full cam, but everyone else does. And then we've got uh, Silicon for the Barcelona keeper. You do need a 79 overall team, and you need a minimum of four nationalities. So what I've done, because Silicon's Netherlands, I've got two Netherlands Premier League centre-backs in Van Dijk and Daly Blind, who are relatively uh, cheap, I believe. That's Van Dijk's... Up no, it's not. Yeah, so he, he should be cheapish. If not, there's probably another... Uh, Netherlands centre-back, but it's not really relevant because you only need 90 chemistry and the rest of it any Premier League players that were in my club uh, And I've made sure that I've got the 79 rated. That's probably the easiest one You only get a 15k pack for that as well. So you don't want to be spending too much uh, The next one we've got is Leon versus Roma and uh, yeah I'm gonna meet this because I've got a feeling I've got a Skype call incoming, but anyhow um, yeah, we've got Leon versus Roma, and the only Roma player I've had to buy is this guy who's 2.8k. Uh, uh, <laughs> the Higuain SPC cleaned my club out of uh, Calcio A players, so that's why I had none in my club. And then we've got Yang and Biwa for the, um, the Leon player. It only has to be a 78 rated team, and again, 90 chemistry, 6 max from the same league. So I've just built a French team, and uh, that's pretty much it. Filled it with French players that are in my club. Um, and yeah, you get a 25k pack. They are usually the better 25k packs for me. And then disappointingly, for in terms of rewards anyway, I mean this is by far the cheapest one. Uh, Copenhagen versus Ajax, you need one of each of those players, two rare players minimum, and uh, team chemistry of 85. You can use bronzes, I've used things that were in my club, so uh, the Ajax player I've used is this striker, I've made him Danish, and I've just went with the Danish squad. Then we've got this Copenhagen centre back here, Jorgensen. Um, could have really used anyone. Uh, they were just lying in my club, but they're probably the expensive players, and then everyone else. You should be able to get a bronze uh, Danish team for relatively cheap. They might be slightly inflated, because I don't know if that's like the general method. But anyhow, because I am slightly late with this marquee matchup. But you do get a prime gold players pack, which are usually fucking trash for me, but they are a 45k pack, so I can hope. I still need to do that J-League one, but... Uh, yeah, I've done two of the teams. We'll, we'll see. I will eventually get it done because I've done every single one. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll open the silver players pack first, then the 15, then the 225s, and then the 45k pack. So, in terms of coin value, you're getting about 117,500. I think my maths is on point there. Um, which isn't too bad, I suppose, but it's obviously not about pack value. It's about what you actually get in the packs, which is important to people. And that's hard to guesstimate because you could effectively get anything you could get shafted or you could get millions of coins it just depends what your pack look is and fuck me two man of the matches i think i wasn't expecting that we get tim crew i forgot man of the matches were even there there's another big flare in there wow that's a hell of a 15k pack there an inform and a man of the match i shit myself i forgot man of the matches were in packs so uh yeah it seems like it's definitely been worth it for me uh wow 
Anyway, we've got another 25k pack to come out. Uh, can we get another special flare? Nah, I doubt we're going to get anything else, to be fair. Like, uh, that pack's probably withdrew everything. But, um, wow, a man of the match and an inform in a 15k pack. Granted, they're not amazing ones, but still, even if they go for discard, that's 20, 25k, which probably pays for the majority of this anyway. Uh, unfortunately, no big flare in the 25k pack. And uh, we move on to the pack, which... Has it ever actually gave me a walkout? I don't think it has. I think it's gave me an inform as my best. Hopefully it's not a walkout. Come on, another big flare. No. So the 15k pack, as predicted, as soon as I opened it, was by far the best and the only thing that's actually warranted any sort of money back. Um, I'm not sure if that would actually be enough to get me the money back. Gnabry might go for slightly more because of his pace and because of the league. I think I'll quickly have a look just to guesstimate. I can't imagine Cruel goes for more than 10k. Um, it's because of who he is. Right, uh, Gnabry, sorry, the league he's in. And uh, he'll be commonly packed. Yeah, he's, he's about 20k, which is what I thought. Uh, I've packed him twice, actually. That's the only inform I've packed this week, and I've packed him twice. Uh, Tim Cruel, if he's more than 10k, I'll be surprised. Oh, wow. Okay, so he's 15k. Or was that just people... Why, why is there so many bids? Is someone trying to price fix this? Oh well, regardless, that's probably around 40 to 50k that I've got back. Which is probably what I would have spent, so... Yeah, it's, it's not bad. I mean, for me, it's actually been a decent uh, week but um, for marquee matchups. But I'll end the video now, I'm rambling. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video, and yeah, peace.